Let's take a quick look at the Seminary and Institute app and the My Seminary website for students and parents. Let's start with the Seminary and Institute app. First, go to your app store and download the app. It's called Seminary and Institute, and the icon looks like this. When you download it, open it up, sign in using your LDS account and username, and then click Go. You can click Get Started, or you can go to Settings and choose the role. We're going to choose Seminary. If you want to go back and change anything in your settings, that button is right here. On the front page, we start with classes, but down below you can see that also you can click on graduation and profile. Graduation will tell you more about how you as a student are doing toward uh, preparing for graduation and if there are any things that need to be changed or updated. Also profile is for your contact information. If we take a look at the content in classes, we have in contact information for your teacher, your location, um, how you're doing in the term so far, but we're going to click on readings. Students are responsible for recording their own reading. They need to keep up with the Come Follow Me readings and then mark their completion right here. Let's say it was New Testament. Here are the listings of the Come Follow Me week's readings. Go ahead and click when you've completed that week and it will be recorded in your account. Let's take a look at some of the features in the My Seminary website, myseminary.churchofjesuschrist.org. You will log in using your LDS account, username, and password, and then you'll see a number of options at the top of the page. There's the Home button, which gives you a summary of the information. You can click on Registration to register your student, Reading Progress, Current Course Progress, Graduation Progress, and contact information, which contains not only your information, your parents, and, and other contact information related to your seminary program. Right away on the front page, we can see an exclamation point. The attendance for this student is below the required 75%. So to find out more, we can click on the Class Progress button, and it will show us not only the percentage, the number of days that need to be made up, which we saw on the other screen too, but also it gives you a list of the absence dates so that you can double check that with your student or teacher. You can see it in list form or calendar form. Let's take a look at the reading like we did for the app. Here, the same thing. You can choose the year that you're studying. In this case, let's do New Testament. And the weeks are again divided up by Come Follow Me weeks. You can find more listings as you click on those tabs. Let's go back to the home page. Let's say you see a banner such as this. It shows you that your student is not registered. Sometimes you'll see a warning window such as this. If that happens, give it a day or two and check back. Most often it will disappear. Uh, if it continues, then go ahead and contact the administrator listed on the warning. To register your student, you can click on the registration button. Here it says the child is not attending seminary this year. Click register and fill out the information. Double check the graduation year is correct. Click on the recommended seminaries and choose your ward or branch. It's very important that you check the I accept the participation policy. Then make sure the contact information is correct. You can edit that information there and then click register. Your child is registered for the upcoming year. Those are the main features that students and parents should know about those two applications. Please click around to find other features. These applications can help unify students and parents to support the home-based, church-supported programs that bless families.